Hi, my name is Matthias and today we're going to look at the long tail strategy in banking and what the role of APIs is. The long tail strategy is so interesting because it allows us to build tailored banking offers and to address niches in a very efficient manner. It's also under the name of embedded banking or banking as a service. What we start with in this strategy is actually with a set of APIs that we know from open banking or open finance. So banks offer a number of APIs, for example, for credit cards, for checking accounts, for payments, for trading accounts, for mortgages, for retirement accounts. And those are the APIs of the financial services industry. But the financial services industry is not the only industry that's building APIs. All industries are, to some extent, building APIs out there. And we can now recombine all of those APIs from different sectors into horizontal niche market offers. So, for example, we have a logistic solution which also contains banking aspects. Or we have a communication solution with some banking elements and so on and so forth. Right? So I have to go all the way over here in order to show you that, well, there's a lot of those. How many are there of those very specialized tailored banking offers? Well, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot more than different mass market banking offers, but they're also differentiating a lot more and they're going to be much more meaningful and much more personal and much more tailored to a very specific, smaller customer segment. Now, I'm going to show you um, how uh, the distribution of these customer segments is um, on this chart here, where on the x-axis you will see the different offers. And then on the y-axis you will see the popularity um, of each of those niche market offers. So first of all, we have the mass market banking offers, right? These are the traditional banking offers where a bank basically builds everything. They build the complete mass market banking offer. And you don't need to have so many different of those mass market offers because it's supposed to apply to everyone. Now contrast this with the niche market offers. Niche market offers, as we've seen on the previous slide, are addressing only a niche market. So they are not very popular because those niche markets are not that big, but you have a lot of them, right? You have a lot of those different niche markets and each of them contains a little bit of a banking API. Now, this distribution that we see here is called the long tail distribution because it has a head. The head is the mass market and the niche markets are basically the long tail. So the question really is, are those niches profitable for banks? Well depends on how you serve them. If you only take one niche at a time and you build a digital solution for this particular niche uh, and then you move on to the next, that would not be very efficient because each niche is so limited and your investment for serving this niche efficiently is so high. What you would want to do instead is serve all of these niches at once. Right? That would create a very efficient solution, serving all of the niches at once. But how can that be done? Well, the answer is it can be done with technology right? and by working together with partners. So each partner would serve a particular niche, maybe a niche that they're already familiar with. So if you're a music streaming app, you're already familiar with musicians. When you're a airline, you're familiar with your frequent flyer customers. So you can serve that market naturally uh, and very efficiently. Banks, on the other hand, would then not serve the customers directly, but they would serve those partners, those developers. They built the APIs that they've already built in open banking and open finance. And now it's all about distributing those APIs in a very efficient manner, distributing them using self-service. So you have an API portal, you have the API gateway, and you have processes that allow you to work with a number, a large number of partners in a very efficient manner. 
And that way, with building and investing in one technology solution, your API landscape, you can serve all of these niches in a very efficient manner. So that was a quick look at the long tail strategies and how APIs can be used for long tail strategies in banking. My name is Matthias and this video has been sponsored by Software AG.